there, everybody. Welcome to Thoughts on It. This is a podcast where we talk about odd dreams, weird laws, and interesting thoughts. I am Brett, a literal therm... Uh, nope. You tried. Hand or hand. Hey, what? there's a dog out the window. Look at that dog. That's a nice dog. That was That's a very a nice... good dog. I wish I was there so I could see that dog. Yeah. And a great it. And a great opportunity for me to say, hi, I'm Brett, a dog. Hanrahan. Wrong again. Bad again <laughs> on that one. Yep. That wasn't were a you, good one either. I'm sorry. Can we detour for a second? What were you going to say on the first one? Were you going to call yeah. yourself a thermostat? I was going to call myself a literal thermostat. Uh, why did you not? Yeah, why'd you stop? Because it's not... It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> do do All right, any no, of you know ours make any sense? All right, I'm Brett. I'm a literal thermostat. <laughs> dot com. <laughs> Hanrahan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a good one uh <laughs> uh i'm sam mario and sonic at the olympic games risley there you go again there yep. he is again St- stating the, the greatest games of our generation and i'm cyan haskins dot weebly dot com <laughs> amazing <laughs> look look her up you have to you have to have the password to get in what's the password Signhaskins.weebly.com. Wow, that's not very it's, secure. You know, it's super secure. If you go on there, you can get all my information, including my credit card, my social security number. Oh. And the third one is secret. You have to get. You have to get on the website. To find <laughs> you have it to out. go find it. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> my address. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what it could be? <laughs> it could be anything. It could be anything. Speaking of anything, anything, who wants to go first? <laughs> a literal thermostat. I'll uh, go first. Why not? Okay. Let 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 a literal thermostat go at least second or third, okay? Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm kind yeah. of you, a you're, big deal. You're pretty prestige. All right. So here's a dream. This isn't very, like, whoa, crazy. It, it's more of a conversation that we could, that I feel like we could have. It has potential for us to talk. Okay. I feel like we can go off topic with it. Um, so this one you've probably seen. Sometimes I dream about my guinea pig, except he's massive, like huge, and he can talk. His voice is really high pitched. In the dream, I'm always scared he'll eat me, but he just squeaks and tell me he wants spinach. Hmm. And that comes from Chelsea and she's 24. And that's all the information I have about that girl. Uh, why uh, you... And that she has a guinea pig. Yeah, that's probably also true. Why do you know her age? I mean, because it was listed on the website. Okay. Honestly. Yeah, that's pretty much all a giant guinea pig would do. I just asked for some spinach. We can be like, man, I want spinach. It, why like, did man, it I could go develop? hard on some spinach now, son. I need some gargantuan sized spinach for my gargantuan sized self. What if my mouse became big? Your mouse? Yeah. Uh, 13? Yeah. Then probably ask for some spinach. She like probably... all giants. <laughs> you know the Jolly Green Giant? That's where that started. That's all they want. All the movies get it wrong. They just you know? want spinach. King Kong was like, I want spinach! This girl is a spinach maker. That's why I brought her up with me to this building. She loves the view. And then, like, the helicopters were shooting spinach, and he's like, ah, thank you! <laughs> it's actually a very fun, like, awesome, like, fun, cool movie. It's a family movie. It's a family comedy. Like Cat in the exactly. Hat. Exactly. Just like the cat. The cat hates spinach the cat in the hat hates spinach well that's because he's not big yeah he's not he's a giant. small but we can change that do you science is able to do you eat spinach to get pig or do you just have a hankering for it when you become giant i think you just crave it well brett yeah. as a giant myself i can say to you you just have a hankering for spinach well when did that right. happen sam because yeah, i saw I... you a couple weeks ago and <laughs> Did, and you weren't big, so this is recent. Did you, like, engage in some evil scientist's experiment? I didn't get a Snapchat about it. Just, I, I don't fit in the Snapchat anymore. My finger just is the whole <laughs> screen of my phone now. Was it when you became a paladin, or was it when you bought your Switch? Yeah. Because it was like, one of those two things. I'm not, I think the Switch was, like, the catalyst, and then the, uh, the, the becoming a paladin sealed the deal. That's gotcha. what brought it Speaking home. of which, can you buy me a Switch? Yeah. I'm broke. 
I mean, I have I like four hundred dollars, so like, I just spent like half my half my money on groceries for this paycheck, but I get paid again on it next Friday. Cool. Yeah. What are you doing, spending, wasting money on like food and stuff? I have to adult sometimes. I just, where do you think I go to get my spinach, Brett? <laughs> well, you don't. You just ask for it. That's what you do when you're a giant. You just go around the city and you squeak and demand spinach. Squeak spinach. Spinach. That sounded like the announcer from the Mario Party. Where Mario like, Party? Finish. Yeah, yeah. Finish. New record. <laughs> No record. <laughs> Sam, I do want to ask exactly how big are you? How big did you become? I now use the Washington Monument as a Oh. I don't know what I'm going to do as a with what? that. As a what? I meant Lincoln I, Monument. As a what? <laughs> as a what, Sam? I meant what to say Lincoln, Lincoln Monument. As? But as what? As a toothpick, maybe. Yes. Yeah, there okay. we go. It's a toothpick. I was gonna say Lincoln Monument as a chair, but then I forgot the Lincoln Monument wasn't the Washington Monument, and chair would have been no. bad well, this is, for this the is Washington This is a hot Monument. mess. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, how are you? How did you open up your like audio program to record this, Sam? I had you know those little like pointers that have fingers. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I use that. They, you, you just turn the sensitivity on your mic way down. <laughs> yeah, well, you have to get you have to get a series of increasingly smaller, uh, you know, hand pointer things. But all of them have to like grab each other until you get to the last pointer. Exactly. That do press the keyboard. Yeah. It's very goofy looking. It's very extremely. Well, I can't believe it took you this long to, to tell us, but I'm glad that you did tell us and uh, I will support you and I'm here for you. So, Sam, can you help? Can you help out this woman with her giant hamster who just wants spinach? Just give him the spinach and everything will turn out a OK. How much spinach, Sam? How well, much? Yeah, the truth it is, must you, get just, costly. you just have to continuously get the spinach and it can get costly unless you take the giant with you, in which case so, yeah, no, you get one a will, discount. no one will actually argue with giving you free spinach when you just feed it to a giant because, I mean, what are they going to do? Stop no, the it's giant? No, like, it's, like, it's like societally accepted. Like, you go into Sam's <laughs> and you're like, I need bulk spinach for my guinea pig who's giant. And they're like, oh, is that just one serving? Yeah, we'll give it to you for five bucks. And you go and you spend $20 and your your guinea pig has spinach for the week. Yeah. And that just works for, like, that's the one thing. It just, like, works for everyone. Like, for hamsters, for dogs, for people. Yeah. Just every giant living creature. Like, like Mr. Lincoln in the Lincoln Monument. He does get his spinach from Sam's. You know, like, when in Alice in Wonderland, when Alice eats the spinach and gets big. <laughs> <laughs> the spinach is like, eat me. Eat it, didn't, me. it didn't have, like, words written on it. It had to speak. And she ate the spinach and got big, and she was like, oh, now I want more spinach. Yeah. And she kept eating the spinach. And then that was the rest of the movie. <laughs> she just kind of sat down and ate spinach, and then she woke up, and she's like, I don't crave spinach anymore, seeing as I'm not a giant. In real life, and that all was a dream. Yeah. I was hoping we'd have more spinach on our ep- on our <laughs> podcasts, you know? It's real was, good. There was a severe lack of it in our episodes. Uh, why don't we go to the next topic? Uh, uh, Sam, you got something gold for us for like the last thing. I feel like you got a great finisher. Um, I mean, depends on where we go with it, really. All right. I guess I'll, I'll just go ahead and do my thought then. All right. Wow. I've been the finisher for two, two episodes in a row. You're, you're bringing in the dough. You're the, you're the breadwinner, Sam. The breadwinner. That was a good movie. Check got it all, out. Got most of the oints points. You know, that's just it's just who you are. Even though I got ten, I got ten oints points. And y'all are losers. Fake this one comes points. from Duff and Hero on Reddit. It says, "Owning a pet would be ten times cuter if we can make them laugh." Um. Yes. Yes. Just imagine like your dog and you just you, you think of a good one. You just think of a, a, a crazy uh, clincher of a joke. Uh, like, why did why did why did Jeffrey get the Bud Light? It was for his bud. 
light. And then... <laughs> then <they're> like, <laughs> you ever see the vine of that fox laughing? No. It's like the fox like laying... It's like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. laying it's down like, and the dude's like... And he's like, hey. And then he's like, laugh. And then the fox is like... Ah! <laughs> well, that sounds more like a hostage situation, honestly. Maybe. I went and... Uh, <laughs> This is this is kind of unrelated. We'll get back to it. But I went and hung out with my first like baby for the first time. You know, I've never like, really been around kids, and I hung out with okay. like a, like a two year old recently. Okay. Uh, cause I have a friend who has a kid. Um. And this kid figured out that uh, me and my girlfriend Avery both like physical comedy. <laughs> yeah. And she learned that when she slams her fucking head into like the couch, <laughs> that we laughed. And she learned that, so she kept look. She would just like slam her fucking face into the couch, and then look at us with the biggest smile, like waiting for us to laugh. And she kept doing it, and then like, she started doing it on like other things. Um, and oh, I no. started like, no, no, no. Like she started doing it on like a bed, and I was like, and then started doing it like, on like a bed, like, on a, a glass pillow, table, like a pillow that's like on the floor, and I was like, oh <laughs> no. <laughs> well. I, I think this baby is ahead of its time. I think this is, like, the next evolution of comedy that we're getting to. Yeah. Right now, we're kind of in the weird, like, almost anti-joke kind of meme thing. Yeah. You know? Where the just the simplest thing. Okay, but I want you guys to, like, think about this. Say hey. you have a... Say you have a <laughs> pet fish. And okay. it starts laughing. Yeah. How unnerving would that sound where you just hear... <laughs> Because it's laughing underwater. Mm. I think it would be adorable. Like, glug, 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 So if animals like a... can laugh, well, a... birds can already laugh, depending on the bird. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that, like, at the zoo. I'm, I'm thinking more of, like, a dog or a cat or something. You're just, like, hanging out, you're chilling, and you're just, like, riffing with each other. Yeah, you're just hanging out, making some funny jokes, saying some funny things. And then the dog is like, huh, good one. <laughs> nice one, Derek. <laughs> that was a very good one, Derek. It's like, you sound a little condescending. Spots. Oh. <laughs> well, if they could talk, that'd be a whole nother story. That would be pretty I awesome if they that. could talk. I would love if I could talk to dogs. It would, it would be, it would be pretty amazing. It, I mean, that's, that's like the ultimate like kind of Pokemon dream, I think. Like, yeah. Is that you have a Pokemon and like you you can like talk to them and you also like have fights and stuff, you know? You have fights with them, like y'all getting domestic. Yeah, disputes we have every domestic now and disputes. And again. It's, yeah, it's, it's been, always been my dream to <laughs> to have a domestic dispute with your pet. Yeah. <laughs> is there really not a way we can give animals like translators? Right. Is that not a thing? Because, like, cats can talk to us, right? Like, cats can come up to us and be like, food, water, pet me, attention. I want but this. But they all I say it with the that. same word. Mm-hmm. But, like, <laughs> but like cats speak differently with us. Cats have a completely different language with humans than they do with other cats. Yeah, that's true. They use... Like, they two use cats same... talking to each other speak a different language. They don't that's meow at each other. We actually can't hear the sounds they make to each other. I think it's on a frequency we weren't able to hear. Yeah. What? It's, yeah. It's yeah. Not, cats like talk to each other. It's weird as fuck. Yeah, and then but when they talk to humans and kittens, they meow. Oh. Does this does this also happen with dogs and other animals? I don't know. I don't think it happens with dogs. When I was a kid, and this might be fucking true, um, I used to think that cats were aliens, because my dad told me that my cat was an alien. Because I got a, my first cat, I was like four or five when I first got Phantom. Um, and my dad was like, oh, I was like, what is it? Cause I'd never seen like a cat before. Right. Yeah. I was very, very young. He was like, oh, it's an alien <laughs> because they have like antennas. Like they, they're whiskers that come out of their eyebrow. Yeah. They have those and they have like antenna, <laughs> which is fucking alien. Like they use antenna to like make sure they can fit into things. <laughs> like if you ever like, that's cut, true. If you ever cut a cat's like antenna off, like they lose their sense of like, how big they are and they like get like stuck in like bottles and shit and there is a human word we use for that and it's whiskers shut up antenna (laughs) and you ever see cats like sitting next to each other and their tails are just like going at it like that's them talking really it has to be 
If I, because Cleo will come, the, one of the cats at the apartment I'm at will come and sit by you and her tail will just like start like, like the end of it would start like just wiggling at you. And I'm like, what are you saying to me? What are you saying to me? Please. please. Just, hmm. just, just. But yeah, so I thought cats were aliens as a kid because my dad told me cats were aliens. Then I realized that they were cats. Um, but but honestly, if aliens. you think about it, cats just might be aliens. They're weird enough. I, to be from outer space they know too much they that they sure do they know too much they are they're too wily they can get around too like too sleek you know they got they got too many superpowers to be of cats Earth. control control the world truly yeah yeah the pharaohs man i can has cheeseburger.com it's all i'm connected. editing that out all right it only took us years <laughs> Of scientific research. No. Define eichenhascheeseburger.com. <laughs> what if what if they did finally make a translator like for cats, but it was just in like memes and stuff? But like old memes? But old memes. Like 2005 memes. Like it'll be hipster cat and uh, I, I don't know any Eichen of the has cheeseburger speak, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. And, like, the only thing it says, like, you attach it to their, you know, color or something. And it just says, I can has cheeseburger. And that's all it ever says. Yeah. Yeah. Because what if that is the only thing they ever say? We don't know. We have no clue. Maybe cats love cheeseburgers. We have no idea. There's so little we know in this world. And we think we know so much. And that is the hubris of man. I think about that all the time. Like, this is just a real thing, but I, like, a real thought, but I think about that all the fucking time. Like, I think about, like, I was, we were, we were just driving around and I was like, man, people, like, we didn't know all this shit. We didn't know, like, what constituted a metal and what constituted plastic and why metal, like, conducted electricity. We didn't fucking know that shit. We just How started you... discovering shit and it's just years and years and years of discovery. That's, that's like, why, that's why, together. like, folk tales are a thing. Like, that's cool as fuck. Yeah. Anyway, this episode of Statsana is sponsored by Grow and Grow by Similac. Uh, it is a spinach for the growing people. <laughs> for the, Wait. It's a spinach for the growing man. Uh, this spinach does help. Uh, it does it does help with vitamins and it helps children grow and it actually will get rid of growing pains. So if you are a giant who find yourself uh, still in the process of... Of normal to giant size, you're still like in that transitional period, and physically or emotionally, and your muscles, be that your leg muscles or your brain muscles, are a mm-hmm. little sore. Mm-hmm. Uh, go and grow, by Similac. That is the spinach for you. They also have butternut squash and an apple food pouch if you so choose. Thank you. Wow. Yes, I did Google spinach brands that help. <laughs> I was yeah, I was about growing, to say okay. <laughs> uh, in got, order to make that joke happen, it was a very specific one. It seems. Anyway, thank you guys for sponsoring our podcast. We can't wait to eat all the. Can't wait to give all this spinach to the giants that <laughs> inhabit this earth, because we can't eat it. We're not allowed. <laughs> spinach. Spinach. <laughs> <laughs> that's, and that's the perfect segue to our last segment. <laughs> Sp- spinach. <laughs> oh, get, I didn't give know what else to add. add. God. No, I mean, all that's right. all you needed. All I right, mean, so just that's, that's just the period on the end of the sentence. All right, what law do you have for us? All right. Spinach. This law comes to us from Utah. Oh. Utah. Utah? Utah? Me? Mm. Ta. I don't know where this is going. Utah. Now, this is a Utah. law that is like specifically targeted at super villains and giant people <laughs> great all right it is illegal to cause a catastrophe in utah <laughs> <laughs> oh well i guess all the giants gotta stay out of utah just like yeah. just to be cautious hey, are you causing a catastrophe over there no it's just a disaster it's just oh, a okay. disaster happening over here <laughs> it's just a mess Sam, please. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Uh, in the full text of the law, causing a te- yeah. catastrophe can be one of two things. or uh, There are two parts to it. 
Number one, any person who by explosion, fire, flood, avalanche, collapse of a building, release of poison gas, radioactive material, or other harmful or destructive force or substance, or by any other means ca- causes a widespread injury or damage to, a, to persons or property is guilty of causing a catastrophe. That covers a wide variety of things, and I like that it said fucking radioactive material or other harmful or destructive force or substance. Or by okay, any so other means, just to like make sure, like if any others, if like any supervillains try some shit, they can be like, "Hey, you're actually breaking the law," and Superman can ar- at, like arrest you. Well, like, no, no, no. So I was the reverse because when I heard like radioactive stuff, I'm like, okay, yeah, if someone from a power plant fucks up and like does that, they should get arrested. But like when I heard like flood, like who the fuck causes a flood? Yeah, some of those things are much easier to pull off than others. A, a person can be in a power plant. And, like, fuck up, and it'll explode, and whatever. But, like... And it's like, hard to cause a volcano to erupt. Like, and people can be like, avalanche, or whatever. Okay, like, avalanche are, avalanche. avalanches are pretty easy to cause, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Are there but, like, avalanches a flood, in Utah? Or, like, in a volcano? Like, I don't know. How does a person cause a volcano to erupt? I, I, my thing is, a flood would not be caused instantly if a person tried to do it, because... There's no way a person could instantly, like, dam up a river. That would take time, and, pl- like, you would notice the water levels rising. None of none of the flooding thing was ever practical, Sam. Don't you worry about that. The volcano. Let's talk about the volcano. The volcano. There's, like, there's like 50 other things on that list. But Sam, okay, right, to be fair, is like volcano is never explicitly listed. However, if, I mean, as some kind of geomancer or something... If someone caused a hurricane, would they get arrested? Is there any way you could paladin, like, a volcano to erupt? I don't think I personally could. Oh, okay. Well, why not? (laughs) You're a giant and a paladin. Yeah, you are giant. That's true, but my my powers are holy, not fire. Go knock over some buildings, Smelly. (laughs) Smelly? Stinky stinky head. (laughs) Mitten sock. (laughs) Take that. Yeah, you want to wear a big sock. Remember that episode? Uh, oh, you piece God. of firewood. Yeah, the giant sock from the last episode is now just what I wear on my feet. The last episode. Or not the, the last, the like, past episode. That was episode. from, like, one of the first episodes. Yeah. In any case, Sam, what are you doing to combat these evil villains? I'm currently uh, training myself in the art of giant combat. Uh, how's that different from average size combat you're big if i could ask well (laughs) most of my combatants don't really stand a chance as i can simply step on them oh you're i i thought giant combat implied both parties were giant (laughs) it's hard to find other giants it's a lonely world for giants in this in this town yeah i guess so (laughs) so won't be lonely anymore if you go on the grow and grow forums (laughs) <laughs> we the have Spanish forum. We have a new forum tag just for giants meet each other. Giant dating apps. <laughs> oh boy. Gi- giants are us. Giants for you. We created a world where macros exist, and I'm finishing the bit. Back to the t- catastrophe. Okay. okay. Two. There was the the second part that like tells you There's what you would be charged part? with. Yeah. Okay. The second part says causing a catastrophe is a felony of the second degree if the person causes it knowingly, and a class A misdemeanor if caused recklessly. So Utah believes in like psychics, I guess. <laughs> psychics and superhumans. Cause like no, no one can accidentally or purposefully cause a natural catastrophe. I'm pretty sure the plot. I get like the- a bombing. But like, I'm still I'm not over flooding. Like I'm not over a flood. Who accidentally no, or on purpose causes a flood? You just get some water. You like go to your sink and you fill a water w- cup of water and then you pour it in the street and then you do that a lot. <laughs> and eventually someone it floods. Can, someone like watches you pour water into the road a couple times and they like call the cops. Like there's suspicious activity. <laughs> <laughs> this is developing into a catastrophe. The cops come over and they're like, I see you've been pouring water. Are you planning on just making a puddle or are you trying to make a river or what are you trying to do? Are you trying to make a flood? Cause the river's fine. Yeah, a the river's, river's fine. fine. But we got boats here. But are you making if the, a flood? If you, if you make a, if you make a river where there was no river before, is it technically a flood? 
Is it a flood if it... Well... No. You flood the area. Yeah. Because, like, if you flood up a hole in the ground, you still flooded it. But, like, hmm. is a catastrophe flood just, like, it destroyed buildings? Because if you just flooded up an empty riverbed with water, like, that's not a natural catastrophe. That's a fucking, like, miracle. <laughs> yeah. You know? Like, the drought's over. Hmm. Uh, but if you flood a city, then it's a catastrophe. Also, why is causing a catastrophe only, like, a second class felony <laughs> or like a misdemeanor a class a misdemeanor <laughs> well i'm pretty sure See? felony is like the highest you can go and then uh i don't know it's just like oh i accidentally flooded the town and they're like oh misdemeanor they give you like a ticket for like Whoops. 50 bucks like what the fuck it was an accident i tripped okay then you'll just yeah. have two weeks of community service <laughs> like <laughs> i destroyed the town with lava like all right, well, make sure you clean up the trash under the highways for the next three days. What does Utah know that we don't? What has Utah got in its back pocket? Does Utah have superhumans? Do, I think they might store superhumans that there. Might that's, where they, that's where Oregon sends all the people that have successfully passed their experiments. <laughs> <laughs> they don't stay in Oregon? Nope. No, it'll be too powerful. Then we would It'd know. be too powerful. It's like Area 51, but it's in, like, Utah. Yeah, once yeah. they get their powers, they have to send them to Utah to make sure their powers are contained. Exactly. The most boring state in the country. No one, no one's ever gone there, so no one could ever discover what's happening. <laughs> well, so, what do, you, what do you think? All right, I caused a catastrophe. What are you going to do now? I think if like, someone has the potential to cause a catastrophe, like, if they have the ability to, they're too dangerous to be able to be arrested, like... They could easily overpower law enforcement. You need another, like, superhuman to, yeah. to take care of that. You know? And that's where Oregon comes in. That's where Oregon comes in. All Oregon the supervillains are made in Utah. All the superheroes are made in Oregon. <laughs> it's like Xavier's School for the Gifted is in Oregon. <laughs> and then, like... Just the bad Joseph's street. School for the... <laughs> For the bad people. Hey, what's up? I'm Joseph. I'm, I, I'm the creator of the I'll, school. I like to play basketball, and I, I hate everyone. <laughs> I'm a super villain, and I like to start floods. I just like to do that. <laughs> and we're going to do it in this beautiful state of Utah. Whoa! <laughs> Was that one of the kids? Yep, when they go to Utah, Whoa! like... The just... Oregon the Oregon State Police, like, arrest the people who Whoa! have just been... Who have officially become superhuman and they're like we're sending you to utah to control your powers and the people who got arrested are like Whoa! <laughs> that's uh, utah is actually where they're shooting boku no hero academia or yep, my hero right. academy academia my hero academia it's all in utah <laughs> it's all in utah lots yeah, of spinach utah. too there's a lot of spinach happening in utah that's where they grow it that's where it comes from. That's why they need all the super-powered yeah. people. It takes a lot of strength and power to grow spinach. If you enter right. Utah, like, the entire ground, like, the from the border, everything. Spinach farm. Spinach fields. It's all spinach. That's why they can't it's have catastrophe. Don't flood the spinach farms. We need that for the giants. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It all makes sense now. It all comes together. I'm glad that we could we, we could be the people who teach america about the truth this is a purely educational podcast we are qualified we're qualified. qualified i went to college for two years and graduated i went to cosmetology school and then never pursued it again and and sam's in school for like a real degree but <laughs> <laughs> wow Currently. why'd you have to so put we're... yourself down like that just believe us when we say we're all professionals yeah yeah <laughs> What about we just spend the last? Spinach. Let's spend the last like couple minutes just making funny sound effects. Spinach, yeah, okay. Spinach, 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 spinach. Oh, Aruga. <laughs> we've been. I did. We've. we've been, we're we're being arrested by the Utah police at this moment for causing a catastrophe in the form of our podcast. <laughs> 
Well, we've been doing that since day one. Thank you yeah. for joining us on Thought Sauna. We will be in prison from now on, I guess. We'll still be recording episodes, though. Yeah, yeah we'll be general. recording in Utah. At We're least finally we all three be able to be in the same same place together. It'll be nice to see you again, Sa- Sal... Mar- Martin? Spanish? Martin? Sp- Sam... Sp- Sp- What's your name? Sp- Sp- spinach? Spinach? Is, Is that, that your name? Spinach? Oh, spinach. Spinach? What's your name? I forgot it. I haven't seen you in so it's long. It's the joke. Spanish. Funny. Thanks for joining us on Thought Sauna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What a good episode. There we go. Yeah. All right. Le- kick us out. All right. Do you want to list our social medias? Yes. We are on uh, Facebook. We have a Facebook page. We are on Discord. We have a server. We have a Gmail. Uh, we're on We're on discord yes we as are, i said we are full of the funny jokes i think you said dick cord did you say dick cord sam what of course we get through the whole episode and now i'm cutting out yeah now you're a robot <laughs> join us with brett the thermometer me i oh. forgot and sam the giant robot <laughs> who loves spinach make sure you bring a towel next time you join us everybody yeah and some spinach just in case some giants pass through yeah <laughs> spinach towels spinach farms where you can like buy spinach to feed the giants yeah like the petting zoo <laughs> sam has a l- okay all right this is a mess all right uh i'm just gonna include a goodbye since i can't hear anything signing off sam sam